Hi Cancer, it's Athena. Welcome back to my channel. All right, we are getting ready to do the April 2019 readings. Um, before I begin, let me just start by saying it is spring season, right? So it's time for cleaning and decluttering and <clears throat> cleaning our, not only our homes and decluttering what, but also um, clearing out those people in our circle, be it, you know, friends or, or, you know, work colleagues, what have you, sometimes even family members that you need to clear out those people who don't add value in your circle so that you can elevate your soul, right? That's what it's all about. It's about, it, it's about ascension, uh, you know, getting your soul to ascend to a higher level. Okay. So during the season, um, it's imperative that we do this because if not, then, you know, it's that, it's, it's, it's that clutter remains with you and it keeps going. It, you know, you'll, you'll wonder why things keep manifesting the same way and you won't understand it. And that's really why. And it is important, you know, feng shui is really important in every aspect. Okay. And then the, um, um, the thing that I wanted to say is that with every season, there is a reason. So, this season, place your intent on something that you want to see manifest within your life, right? Um, you know, it's just like the planetary aspects changing, right? Moving into different um, areas, be it now we're in um, airy season, right? So things are going to be getting ready to move forward. So it is important to get everything that you need to get cleaned out, declutter, do a detox, do saging, um, you know, from the inside, purify from the inside out, right? Um, or vice versa, however you want to do it. But remember that for every season, there's a reason to get that done. Okay. Um, I also want to extend my grateful gratitude, always immense gratitude for all of you who remain loyal subscribers and for all of the newbies thank you for joining my channel i really am in just so grateful okay now i've been under the weather so how do you what does that even mean i've been under the weather well let's just say i've had i've had a, a little cold and now i'm getting better You want, I mean, some of those things really have validity, right? But that one's funky, you know. All right. I could go on. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Cancer, sun, moon, rising. It's also important to look at your, you know, don't get, don't get like inundated with these readings where you're just like, Oh my God, you know, my head's spinning, right? Because it's easy to do. But if you do know your moon or rising sign, just every so often, period, periodically, just take a little browse into your moon or rising sign. Because, I don't know, my moon sign has been really very accurate, more so than my sun sign. So it varies. Okay, so now let's get going. I'm going to move the camera down now that I've shuffled a little. And let's get it started for the month of April. Okay, let me move the camera down. And you can see, hold on, the camera's giving, it's like really a funky, I changed the, I changed, sorry. Okay, let's do it. All right, Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What do we got? All right, we got the Knight of Swords. All right, so interesting enough, we have a message. Hold on, because this tripod is... Actually, I need a tripod. That's what I need. 
This is a little cr crappy little thing. It, it works. Okay. Knight of Swords. Perfect. Let's see what kind of message is coming in, going out. Palace of Wands. Movement for sure. Movement. I love it. Yes. Movement. Six of Wands. Beautiful movement. Oh my God. Look at this. Making money moves. Wow. Wow. I love it. All right. So Cancer. It is about time. Hold on. It's about time. I'll move them down so you could see. It's about time to make some money moves. Okay. All right. So on this side, yeah, it's kind of funky how I have this camera. Sorry for the, for the hand in the camera, literally. <laughs> Jeez, swear. Hold on. All right. Let's focus. Cancer, sun, moon, and rising. Let's keep it going with this movement. All right, two of coins. All right, that's beautiful. Working, working, working. Making money. I'm serious. Cancer, this is all about making money moves. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. This is like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Balancing out your money, moving into a very nice, nicely balanced, making some major money moves and being really, really happy about it. Wow. Oh my God. So there could have been like uh, some time that you gave yourself to to start something new, right? Is it a new job? Is it a new idea that's going to just make a ton of money? Is it something that you've been, you know, you've been wanting to do for a while and it just took you to this point in April, you know, it could be you were in planning stages, right? So we have you know, a little rest, but how did we get to this point where we just said, wait a second, I got to take a step back. I got to take a chill and see where I'm going with, with how I'm going to balance work, money. I mean, ideas that you're, that are just going to flourish is an understatement. Here's your judgment. Could you be receiving money with regards to well, you could. Um, you could be receiving money and justice for you with regard to a legal case. Okay. That could be, you know, that could be something that's happening. And why do I say that? Because we also have, you were like concerned. Oh, I'm really not sure if this, you know, I'm, I really want to, I'm, I, I'm willing to put the work in. I want to get money, and I'm saying it a legal case because we do have the 10. So wanting to make this money back again could be an issue, or not an issue, but a good thing, right? You 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 came from a place of 10 of coins, and maybe something happened, and you had to go back to school. You had to learn a new trade. You had to get a new idea. You had to get a new course of action. Could it be legal? That's why I'm saying it could be a contract because we have both the justice and judgment here. You could have been maybe, uh, I'm hearing collaborating with others to get something off the ground, okay? So you took time, which is really smart, okay? You took time to say, wait a second, what is going to bring me back to where I need to be? To where I know I need to be. Okay. So you had these 10 of coins. Maybe you had to spend money in order to make money. That's usually what, what's called the law of attraction. Sometimes we do have to make money. Most of the times we do. Now you can't see. Okay. So you have to make money in order. You have to spend money in order to make it. That could have been something that you did. 
and now you're ready. You also, for some of you, you also waited until the timing is perfect with Mercury coming out of retrograde today within the next two weeks, okay? Within the next two weeks, we got the ball really rolling here. We got things. We have everything in place, I'm hearing. Plans are in place. Strategies are in place. We made some really good choices that is going to balance out everything. It doesn't have to be money. It could be a new place of residence. It could be you just bought a beautiful new home. And that's what you put your money into in the Ten of Coins, and right, that I showed you. All right, so now you're saying, okay, you know, we got to furnish the place. So you're spending money in order to make your home beautiful, beautifying it, which is a great thing. Let me see what else I'm getting. You intuitively knew what you wanted to do. You just didn't have the courage at some point to do this. You were at one time being defensive about maybe bringing in others into a project or working with others. You were a little hesitant, but now you're feeling really on point. You're feeling strong in your conviction, you know? And you're showing the world. You're going to be, sh people are totally going to be watching you. Showing the world what you have achieved with great strategy, patience. What does, you know, people are looking at you guys and saying, oh my God. So this is how... This is why cancer was, was, we weren't hearing from cancers for a while. This is what was going on. Maybe some kind of judgment came out of it also. And someone's getting some big bucks. Okay. Like I said, it's either, <coughs> either or. <coughs> Excuse me. A legal case, a case of. You know, getting what you're paid, getting what you're worth. Yes, because you go, listen, you go ace, two, three, and eight. You jump up to the eight. So you got 80% of your money back. That's too close. I'm sorry. So you got 80% of your money back that you had had put into whatever your, whatever this project is, whatever Funds that you were hoping to get, you got 80% back. Because you started with a ton of coins. Okay? And people are watching. Really and truly, they're, they're really keeping an eye on what you're doing, Cancers. Or vice versa. You're keeping an eye on what others are doing in order to gain this justice. Justice has to be served here, is what I'm hearing. May I'm hearing, may justice prevail. Right? It could be an insurance payout. Someone was waiting for that. And they got, you know, they got it. Some someone might have wanted. This could also be the a hospital. Someone coming out from an issue of being ill, right? And just you know not feeling up to par. But now we're like back, feeling really good. It took a little while to kind of like get ourselves, you know, get yourself back up. Someone is not sleeping at night because they're conflicted with thoughts. You know, when you, when you have, and this is a message of some sort, something coming in quick about this money. Maybe this is what you were waiting for. 
Maybe you were waiting for the justice system for something to be rectified. <clears throat> I, you know, I can't help but hear insurance payout, legal custody, legal battles, some medical bills, right? Not sure about all of that. Let's see how we clarify these, okay? Let's get it going. Cancer. There you go. Some, oh, okay, so that's what I, yeah, this makes sense. Some of you are trying to do IVF, in vitro fertilization, and um, you have successfully fertilized, and congratulations. That is a huge accomplishment. I know. I have done so. It is not an easy road. So if you are one of those cancers that have done that, um, hats off to you because it's not an easy procedure. And if it is a procedure of that nature of cancer, you have done it maybe three times. Sometimes they, that's what they say when you're doing IVF. It takes up to at least three times for it to. And you might have had like up to eight eggs. So maybe you fertilize some eggs here. I'm also seeing that. Eggs, look at this looks like eggs. Yeah, fertilization, love it. And growth and money, okay? So again, understand these are general readings. So if this applies to you financially and you're getting a payout, it's huge. Financially, could it be a property, purchasing of a property? Absolutely, and it's beautiful. You are now, everything's working out and you put money into it and you're going to reap the rewards of that ultimately when you do that when you buy a house right um and furnishings and then it could also be for those of you who are trying to do IVF a medical procedure I did see it in this card a medical procedure and it has successfully worked hello beautiful and we are pregnant an idea a pregnancy literally there you go planting the seeds for the harvest Love it. You planted seeds and now they're harvesting. It doesn't necessarily mean just money, but it could. I'm going to take these three and see where we go. Intuitive knowing, right? This is about getting, I'm going to put these down here so that we can just work with what we have here. Um, this is about unity. So this is why I said you know, clarity, unity, consciousness. It is about connecting with, connecting with your higher self, connecting with your truth, connecting with the universe. Again, these, this is a connection to the universe and knowing to plant seeds. So the seeds that you've planted are either reaping your financial abundance or reaping a beautiful you know, newborn baby, healthy newborn baby. Okay, so that was this. Oh, and there you go. What happened? You got, you got word from the universe, literally, that the truth is that you are pregnant. Yeah, that's what I feel. The truth is you're pregnant and you were trying for a while. And now you're going through what? Transformation, rest. If you're pregnant, you need to rest. Okay, you need to rest and make sure that you feed the baby, feed yourself. Again, purification of, that's like the most, the most, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Um, it's the most purest time is when you're pregnant when your body goes through these transformations and literally you literally transform your whole mind, body, and soul. Literally, that's what this is. Mind, body, and soul transforms when you're pregnant because you have, you have to eat right. There's no more drinking sodas or drinking period. Right. I mean, for most, right. I should say. Seriously, most people should not be drinking when they're pregnant. But my point is, let's get back to the point. 
the point is that when you are with baby, then you do transform your whole life purifies just it just happens naturally just like this beautiful child that's going to be born happens naturally you may just be finding out that you were three months pregnant that you are three months pregnant you could be finding that out all right let's get one more card here and then look at the bottom of the deck and people are noticing <laughs> this could be and it's a three so people are noticing that you're pregnant and saying congratulations now. Maybe the word is out now, finally. The word is out. And here you have your sacral chakra. So dare I say, it's your enthusiasm for being pregnant is off the chain. Your creativity also is off the chain. Okay? So your, your happiness of planting these seeds is is just like, oh my God, this is the greatest news ever. I bought this beautiful house I always wanted. I just got pregnant, I always wanted. I just got this money from this legal case that I always wanted and hoped for. And everyone's watching. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this card, I'm so happy that it came out because you guys really deserve this. You guys really, it's time. You guys have been through a lot. So this is beautiful. And, you know, the money here, some of these pentacles could be that, you know, that you had to spend money to get, you know, to get pregnant. IVF is, excuse me, please. IVF is expensive. I mean, let's be honest. <clears throat> excuse me. All right, so... Moving forward now, everything's good. Everything's good. And I, I also see the nine months of material harvest, which is the baby comes out, right? Baby, I really see pregnancy here big time. At first, I mean, I also see someone coming into a lot of money. You know, like I said, insurance payout. Some truth came out. Money's been had. You know. There's recognition from this money that you were waiting for. This could be money from your spouse, you know, could be. Working hard for your money for sure, but it's totally paying off. Um, let's see what else I, I can hear. I, if I hear anything or see something. Um, yeah, new house, <clears throat> birth of an, a new pregnancy, birth, getting, giving birth, getting ready to give birth. Yeah, it's all good. This is how I feel. This is really what I'm getting right here. Okay. All right. Let's go with the Ascended Masters and see what the Ascended Masters also want to give this information, we're really happy. Look, happy and really abundant cancers. Many of you are in the money. I'm serious, moving into the money. Oh my God, making money moves for cancer, making babies, I love it. All right, so those are the predominant, you know, and buying a house. Those are the three predominant things I see here. And that if it is something that you were planning to buy a house, to have a baby, this was all part of being patient and getting, reaping the rewards of, of that. You know, being patient during, during a time of, you know, doing in vitro fertilization. It, if it took you three times or if it took you three months or you are three months pregnant, however the situation applies to you, it still means that you are reaping the harvest by being patient and being and planning this, right? And getting enough rest. Okay, so let's keep going. Ascended Masters for Cancer. There you go. Your, your heart is shining, so happy, so abundant. The universe is so happy. And you may be having twins. 
Oh, I hope I didn't spoil that. Twins, right there. Yeah, I think so. I think if you did IVF, you're having twins. Wow. Positive changes for cancers. I love it. So now the wheel is turning and we are so happy. So, so happy. Because the magic of the universe has shown itself. Alchemy, right? We've changed, we've changed our whole being. You know, things change us as as human beings in the world. And one of them is knowing that the birth of the miracle of birth comes into play. And that is a miracle indeed. And when you have this and it's growing within you, within your, you know, within your body, it's a miracle to be, to be like, it's, you can't even explain it with words. You really can't. It's, it's just like crazy. <clears throat> Especially when you're starting, which you're not yet if you're three months, but you will be when you start hearing, you know, or the kicking, you start feeling the kicking and the whole thing is an amazing experience. Okay. So it's all good. And so you've turned something You've taken enough time and you've made, you've miraculously and successfully achieved what you wanted to achieve, right? The truth of the matter is that you've achieved this pregnancy and or achieved um, some financial windfall and you are extremely happy about it and or, you know, a house. Here you are healing and always when you're pregnant, of course, Health is important. It's always important. Always be healthy. You're going to be, and I said this earlier, You, if this is you that you're pregnant, you are going to be so healthy. That's really how we should all be all the time. When you're pregnant, it's like a pregnancy. When you're pregnant, your body transforms to like an amazing, it's just amazing, and, <clears throat> and you're so healthy. It's like you've never been healthier when you're pregnant. <clears throat> there you go. So the universe is asking that you continue to drink water to keep your strength up when you're as you're pregnant. And Ocean in this picture looks like she's pregnant and she's she's glowing, right? When you're pregnant, you're glowing. The whole world sees how you're glowing. It's beautiful. Wow. This makes total sense if you're getting you just got pregnant and you were persistent in your attempts at getting pregnant you were very persistent and patient and that's what happens the universe has gifted you with that if it is financial <clears throat> again you are patiently happy and healthy and and going with the flow of life you figured it out you know and now you're at peace you are very much at peace. And no, of course, not all cancers are pregnant. And no, not all cancers are buying a new house. It is general. But let's just say this is the message that the universe wants to impart through me to all of you who are watching. And if that applies to you. Okay? Because <clears throat> that's how it works. You know, that's why all readings on YouTube, all readers' readings are different. You see the cards come out and they come out differently. And the readings are different because the messages are for specific individuals. Right? All right. So we are now devoted, very much so. Sorry. We are very devoted to the... the here, let me just pick these up real quick so you can see. We are extremely devoted, extremely happy with where we have, how we have gotten to where we're at right now. That's just a few of, look at all the green here. Come on. Right? Look. Okay. So you got my point. You are 
devoted to giving and receiving love on such a compassionate level through a child, through the, the hard work and patient planning of financial success, through the purchase of a new home, you are very happy and transformed. It's transformed your life, okay? In such a way that you're humble about it. You're not, you're not being anything but humble, okay? About how this magic has happened. And people are standing up and saying, you know, congrats, that's what this is. Congratulations, you worked hard for this. Be it a job, be it a child, a pregnancy, be it a new home. You worked hard for this. You deserve it. Let's go to love. Gosh, this is such a good reading. It's, it's really, this is like a reading for you guys that, I mean, no kidding. Cancers have been going through a lot. You know, just in general. Not that we all don't, right? But it's kind of like every sign goes through their own thing, right? So I think you understood cancers. You understood that going with the flow of life is, is not only good for your health, but also that's where the magic is found. That's where it's found. Because you, you are trusting in what the universe has for you. And not everyone learns that right away. It takes a while, you know. That's why you did all the hard work. You've done it. You've seen how the universe works. And now you're so abundant here. Yeah. So congrats, really. This is a beautiful moment. Really, really take in this moment beautiful. All right, let's go to love. Cancers. See? Children. I'm telling you, you're going to have a boy and a girl. <laughs> I don't know. I feel it. I see it here, but I feel it more. I do. I saw twins. I'm serious. I'm not joking. All right, and you made the effort. However many times we say we're going to do you know, that IVF. I mean, it doesn't matter how many times because we just want to get pregnant. That's the mindset of someone who really wants a baby. And there you are, very soon. Baby's coming. Very soon, your money is abundant. Very soon, the rewards of your patience and planning is paying off for you, cancers. We have romantic feelings, so yeah. We're really, we're really together with our spouse right here. We're on the same page. We are totally vibing here. Look at how they're reciprocal, right? In this card, he's giving her the love. In this card, she is giving him the love. It's beautiful. They're actually very, it's very, this is like, this is, could be a childhood, um, this could be a childhood romance that you guys have going on here for some of you. Look, this could be from childhood into teenage years, young adults, and now. You could be like in your 20s and just got, just got pregnant. Very happy. Just got your new first house. Very happy. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And you, it all happened because you loved yourself first, right? You loved yourself first. You transformed into a whole new person by loving yourself first. You've shown the universe that you now, you deserve this because you've worked hard for it. Okay, let's get a couple more. For, this is such a beautiful reading. Healing family issues. Well, maybe there were just some issues that needed some healing before, you know, it is, it is a, it's a huge um, journey to be on the journey of having, being blessed with a child. It is a journey. 
And when you have a child, you will understand that more um, as you, you will heal your family issues as you're going through this pregnancy, for sure. You're with someone definitely from a past life. And you know it. I mean, hello. And some of you may be taking like a little vacation with all this money that you've got. You're saying, okay, it's time. Let's take a trip. Let's go to Rome. Let's go to Venice. Yep. Okay. So this is beautiful. Let me see now. Hold on. All right. So we have great passion, great rewards. And you know what I just noticed on this honeymoon card? Wow. Oh my God. You know, it really ceases. It just amazes me that on the, con on the gondola, the one that's driving, right? He's the driver of the gondola is an angel. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wow. This, he has angel wings on here, guys. Oh my God. Look. He's got angel wings. So this birth, this relationship, this, this is, this is being given to you. Not like it's not always from the universe, because it is. But this is being, you are being guided by the universe. This is a long time coming, I hear. And I'm hearing to look on the bottom of the deck. There you go. So for some of you, my friends, cancers, this is the best reading ever. Some of you are finding the one. And this is, let me just say, all right. This is the abundance that you're feeling because you have finally found your person that makes you, you. Beautiful. And I'm still going to say it right now. You can, I need to know, you need to, you need to write in the comment section and I will look. I don't always look regularly because I do have other projects that I'm working on. <clears throat> and, um, However, I'm going to say it now, and I need to know, cancers, those of you who just found out you're three months pregnant or just in general pregnant, let me know, because I think you're having twins, and I could not be more excited for you, because then, you know, you get it out of the way. You don't have to do IVF again. Hello, right? In case you want another or what have you. All right, good job, Cancers. Really, really good job. I don't even know what to say this reading. I'm, I'm blown away by this gondola driver, right? Who's an angel. Wow, I've never seen that in this card. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, wow. And children are, I'm just going to say another thing here. Children are going to be of great importance to you just in general. Like you're going to be a great father. And you're watching over your family. If someone's on the other side, they really care deeply about their kids. I kind of feel that with this card. I kind of feel that there's a father figure that has crossed over and two children are of great concern to them. Yes, definitely. Someone's crossed over. Okay, let me see what else I'm getting. 
I mean, obviously in these cards, we see angels everywhere, but that's a first for that card. So, <clears throat> yeah, this person who's on the other side, if that's a father figure that's on the other side looking over his children, I just want you to know that this is part of the healing that they're going through because they did not expect to leave this this earth plane. It was um, it was not anticipated. But definitely being watched over. Yeah, that's sweet. Okay. Sweet and sad, right? Bittersweet. And I also see this, again, I see this and this card, just so you know. I see both these cards as a boy and a girl. Okay. And you're very happy. Your heart is so happy. Okay, and I also see, again, this as being a relationship that has been around for a while. You you guys have been together for, you know, since like, I don't know, since teenage. You've been teenagers together. You know, look at how you've grown. You've grown in this relationship. Sorry for the glare. But you see, these these two are really much younger than these two, right? So, you know, like teenagers, early 20s, early 30s, you know, something like that. And then, of course, now... This is the one. It really could be the one. If if this is a new relationship, this could be the one. Okay. The sun is coming in and I can't close my shutters um, up on top. And you are you are totally respected in this relationship, by the way. Totally like what is what's the saying? Adored, respected, and loved dearly. And this past life, actually, where's the past life card? <clears throat> this past life card looks like these two. Look it. You know, they've, they've grown together through time. They've learned together through time. And I'm also hearing you may have to go through another lifetime with this person again. That's kind of cool. And so, okay, so I think that's all I get for you cancers, okay? You've done really, really good, really good. You're peace, you're at peace, you're healthy, you're making sure you stay healthy. Please, let me know if this does apply to those of you who are pregnant. I'm excited for you. Really am. Because I know the journey very well. I did IVF seven times. Hmm. Okay. Uh, be blessed. I send love and blessings. Again, for those of you who are not pregnant with, well, it could be pregnant with ideas too, right? A big, a big idea is going to like, just be huge, abundantly prosperous, okay? Does not have to be that, obviously, you're with baby. Um, anyway, um, if you need any healing, any guidance, um, I'm here. Just call me, text me. Um, when you do call, I do have people calling me and not leaving, you know, information that I can get back with you on. So I do need that info from you, okay? Be blessed. I'll see you soon. And congrats. Bye.